What's happening guys? Nick the Outdoor Everyman. So I'm going to start this video off by showing a couple of uh, action shots of the front and backyard. Um, but this is going to be my video of fertilizers. So stay tuned. Alright, so here's the uh, front yard. You can see it's grown in pretty thick and decently green. I do have some underlying clover, which is great in the aspect of I'll be able to... Uh, have videos on how to get rid of that and show you what's going on there. Got a couple of spots I filled in with some fresh dirt, so once I can seed, it should come in good. But you do notice that there are some color changes, so I've got some uh, stuff on that that I'll talk about later on. But yeah. Alright, and here's the backyard, which I have not focused on near as much as the front. You can see we've got color variation, we've got some broadleaf and crabgrass. This area here, which is getting scalped by my riding mower, which is kind of why I switched to a push mower um, to kind of help that out. So this is actually perfect to be able to start a channel with and show you the transformation of it. Um, be doing some more... Um, fertilizer coming up some alorganite something i'll be talking a lot more about so yeah that's what we got going on um i want to bring to you the i'd say the number one if not close to the number one most searched thing on lawns which is fertilizers um i'm gonna keep this super super simple there's some people that are gonna be watching this like yeah this is all basic knowledge or you just skimmed over so much but I'm going to do my best to just have a general layout here on this one, and then I'll go into more depth, uh, maybe in different videos. And then I will have a screen pop up where you can screenshot it with what I'm saying, so it's just easier. Um, you don't have to keep on going back and listening to everything I say. But basically what I do is the Scott's program. Uh, it's the easiest program, uh, better than Menards. Their stuff I don't personally like. Some of you might have used it and had great success, so... Take it for what it's worth, but the Scott's program is foolproof in my opinion. Uh, very easy. Step one, two, three, and four. It's even on the bag. It's it's foolproof. So step one, they say um, before Easter, uh, the earlier the better um, around that time because if you wait too long, it's it's a pre-emergent, and what that means is you're gonna throw that down. And it's supposed to uh, stop crabgrass and a couple other uh, weeds from popping up. So if there's already some getting established, it does not kill what's already there. So you got to make sure once you start seeing your lawn get green or uh, just coming to life, you want to start throwing that down. Because as soon as you start uh, seeing weeds, it's over. You're going to kind of waste your money on that. So that's before Easter. Um, so that's step one, super easy. And all these steps basically recommend you watering them in. So what that means is you're gonna put it in your broadcast spreader or drop spreader, whichever you prefer, and you're gonna be putting that out there. A lot of it's gonna get down to where it needs to in the soil, but some of it will be sitting on top of uh, leaves, weeds, um, your actual grass leaves, and you want to get all of that down in the soil to get as much effectiveness as possible. So you're gonna throw all that stuff down in your yard and then right after you're done, just give it a nice little spritzing with a hose or if you can time it up right, if it's gonna rain that night or that morning, um, it should be fine to let sit. However, having said that, you do not want it to have a huge rain. Uh, what that could cause is having all of your stuff run off out of your yard with too much water. So if it looks like it's going to be a nice light rain, that'll be perfect. It'll water it down, get all that stuff knocked off the, uh, the grass and all that crap. So that'll be perfect. So that's step one. Step two is a post-emergent. So obviously pre-emergent, pre, you know, it's going to stop the weeds from coming in but not kill them. The post-emergent, now that's for your dandelions and all the crap that grows up late spring, that's going to actually kill it. So you want to use that near Memorial Day, I'd say. That's probably pretty good. Again, water it in. Um, don't really need to spend too much time talking about it because it's very self-explanatory. It'll also have some lawn food. Step three, you're going to want to do close to Independence Day. Now this is going to be lawn food with iron. So what iron does for your yard is it helps the process with chlorophyll. So everybody should know what chlorophyll is. It's going to green up everything in your yard. And why would you want that near Independence Day? Because that's usually, should be, the hottest time of the year. 
you're going to be struggling to keep up with maybe watering your yard. It's not raining as much, so you're going to start seeing it to kind of brown out a little bit. So this is going to help with color. It's going to help with uh, keeping your grass a little bit less susceptible to burning out because of the lack of water. Um, and then any time you've got fertilizer like this, you want to make sure you are getting enough rain after the fact. So I was talking about it getting washed out, but once, you know, it's been in the ground for a couple of days, three days, you're not going to have a washout effect. You're definitely going to need rain throughout that week. If not, you're going to want to water it and it'll say all this on the bag, but it could burn out your yard if you don't get enough water. So same thing as like too much sun. So that's step three. Step four, that is going to be from Labor Day on till October. And all this simply is the lawn food to kind of boost you. It's getting a little bit colder, so it's going to boost that and then carry over, kind of helping into next year. Um, so that's the four basic days that you're going to have step one, two, three, and four. You've got Easter, Memorial Day, Independence Day, and um, around Labor Day. So that keeps it super simple. And again, I'll have that somewhere on the screen here after this. Uh, but I think that basically covers it. It's very simple. Step one through four. All you have to do once you get the bag is follow the instructions. A lot of it is just making sure you've got the proper amount of water, not too much water, um, getting a very even spread. And I'll kind of cover that more in a different video. I just didn't want this one to go on too much longer. It'll probably be covered with like a broadcast spreader versus drop spreader. Um, the smaller ones compared to the big ones where it's actually got a motor on it and all that fun stuff. Uh, so if you have any questions on this, let me know. Got a couple of action shots. I was hoping to get out more in the yard, but unfortunately um, it is raining all day. But I will have a couple front and back videos for you just to kind of see where I'm at. The front yard I've been kind of keeping up on as much as possible. The backyard I haven't done that good of job with yet. I didn't want to go crazy on the whole yard and start up this channel and then have nothing to really do because it was already doing really well. So the backyard will be a fun little project for us. Uh, but other than that, I will get into some more specifics on this. I did a really, really quick gloss over of it because like I mentioned, uh, there's Melorganite that is a natural fertilizer. There's actual other iron products you can add straight to your yard. There's so much more to this, but just for the people that want a little knowledge on when to do fertilizer, how to do it, um, that was pretty much it for you. So. If you could, please like this video, subscribe. The first video I did not expect to get, I think I had over 50 views within a couple hours. That was awesome. So if I can just keep on going, that would be fantastic. It's gonna be fun for me, and hopefully we're gonna learn all this stuff together um, and have a lot better yards. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you.